Hola mi gente, I'm Melissa Hernandez and welcome to In Your Life. Today I am joined by the leading man in the film playing for Keith, Gerard Butler. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Doing great. Bienvenido a Miami. Welcome to Miami. Thank you. It's good to be here. Have you enjoyed any bit of the sunshine outside or not yet? No, I did this morning. I, I, I woke up very early and saw people meditating out on the, the beach. It was incredible. And um, so I got out there and I did a bit of a walk and hung out on the beach for a second. And then I had to come back in to do these damn interviews. The duty of this new film, Playing for Keeps. Hey, can I take him for dinner after? Yeah, come on, Mom. What if we're back by seven? Back by seven. Okay, fine, seven. Seven it is, don't worry. Say bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Who's the new soccer coach? Stacy's ex, the soccer player. Do five, ten minutes a day passing the ball with a brother or a sister. Yeah. I had a sister, but she died. You were a great, great player. Dreyer with a shot. Goal! So what are you doing with your time now, post-soccer? You play ex-pro soccer player, now turned into a soccer dad, but you're not only coaching kids, you're teaching moms too? Mm -hmm. What are you teaching those kind moms? Of, kind of the perfect life, really. Yeah, that, I mean, how'd you get that gig? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it helps. Because, you know, I, I was a producer on the movie as well, yes. so you can kind of take the story your way. And um, you think, I want to I be doing that. And can we get Catherine Zeta-Jones and Uma Thurman no. and Jessica Biel? I never dream come true. Come on. Interesting you say, what am I coaching the, 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 the moms? And that's where a lot of the comedy comes in, yes. is these moms wanting a piece of George. Ex-soccer star, he's the new guy in town, not a lot happens here. But at the same time, he does coach them in a way that he doesn't even mean to about perhaps where their lives are going and right. what they should be focusing on. But he does it in such a roundabout way because he's kind of so lost in his own life and trying his hardest just to, to, to kind of keep his, his self together and, and try and be a good dad and try and, you know, give himself a second chance. And yet people around him, he's messing up their lives, but they're also in some ways advancing Getting in their lives better, because yeah. of him. That's very true. And now, has that soccer dad, family man bug bitten you? <laughs> it might be a while before I'm a soccer dad, but um, <laughs> I can but, wait. Yeah, I can wait. No, I mean, listen. At some point, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to be a dad. And now, talk to me about these roles. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> talk to me about these roles. You you can play so many different roles. I mean, from law-abiding citizen to romantic comedies. There's been so many films you've done. How do you choose these characters you play? Uh, you know, I, I read a script and I say, what speaks to me? What's a story? You know, you read a script and you go, oh, that's good. Or you go, oh, I love this. And you love it for different reasons. Because it's kick-ass or because it's meaningful or it's inspiring or it's funny or it's some or all of those things. I, you know, or it's something you've never done before. Uh, so there can be a variety of reasons. But I always like to try something new always the best way to do it, trying something new. And if you could go ahead and tell our viewers at Generation Enya why they should watch this film, playing for more. <laughs> hey, I'm Gerard Butler. This is Playing for Keeps. And um, it's it's my new movie, and I'm very proud of it. We have a great cast, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Jessica Biel, Uma Thurman. And it's really funny and heartwarming and charming and sexy and smart and interesting and inspiring. And I don't know any other adjectives that I can use to make this movie sound good. <laughs> and you can say, there's a, like you say in the movie, there's a man with an accent in it, right? There's a man with an accent in it. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you reckon you can handle this thing? Are you serious? Let's not tell your mom about this.